At the end of every race, I pull this engine out, drain the oil, check the clutch. We're kind of hands off of the engine. We have engine guys in-house that take care of all the major stuff, but after three hours, they get shipped back to the shop, put a fresh one in, and we go racing again. In the truck, we have a total of six engines. I have one race engine and two backups. Justin has one race engine and two backups, and we also have six more back at the shop. After 20 hours, when the engines are timed out for racing, they turn into fresh practice bike engines, and then we run those for another 20. The engines in both of these bikes, in uh, Weston's and Justin's, are the same. As far as electronics go on the bike, if we need to make mapping adjustments or anything like that, we have an electronics guy, plugs into the bike, a couple seconds, new map. On race days, the two major things that we're changing a lot is tires. They always like fresh tires on the bikes and then I'm always inspecting the clutch just to make sure that we're, we're not having an issue there. As far as Weston on the bike, he's super mellow on the bike. He doesn't really tear anything up. He's not really hard on the clutches. He might bend a set of bars every once in a while, but other than that, he's really easy on the bike. Forks on this bike are a conventional spring fork with the capability of adding air. We don't run very high air pressure. They are on the bike for two hours. Then they get taken out. We have a guy that goes through them completely, completely tears them down, inspects everything, replaces everything, puts them all back together. As far as the suspension goes, I'm totally hands off on that. I don't really, it's not my expertise. I'd love to learn it, but as far as it goes, if I have to make a change or anything, I have Johnny O do it. We do practice it at the practice track, engine swap times, suspension swap times, wheel change times. Like we'll just, all of a sudden, somebody will say fire drill, and we're changing the tire when it gets off the track when it's hot to mimic coming off a race. So if you get a flat during the race, everything's hot. It's easy to do it when it's cold. When it's hot, it's not easy. Weston rides out in North Carolina and in California. When he's in North Carolina, I'm there with him at the practice track. We make any kind of adjustment he wants. We do a lot of testing. He's really good with testing. Knows what he's looking for and how to explain it so we can achieve that. Shock is a work show, shock. It is, it goes two hours as well, same as the forks. When we tear them down, they're really, the oil's not even dirty inside the shock with the forks. We just do it just for security, just in case there would, if there would be an issue, we can catch it early. Basically, these bikes have an hour on them when they get tore down. Everything's still brand new, but it's just kind of the normal for everybody in the pits now to frame their bike every week, and it's really the only way to inspect everything. As soon as the bike comes off the track, when we go to pull that shock off, you can't touch the shock body. It is that hot. So what we do is you gotta have your gloves on, get it down, get it out, but it will burn you. On race day, the only thing that he's really particular with is where his clutch and brake levers are and kill button and map switch. As far as the chassis goes, we have a whole bunch of different things that we can do to change the feel of the bike. We have different engine hangers. As far as the front ones too, they're actually, they're three ways. You can turn it all three ways and it gives the, the bike a whole different feel on all three positions. I've adjusted them at the practice track. We ended up finding which way he likes it and we haven't changed it since. We can though, if he, if, if he would want to free the bike up or tighten it up, we have capabilities of doing that. For me, the thing that I obsess about the most is this is my resume. It's gotta look sweet all the time. We put a lot of work into it and we're really proud of what we do. So proud of what I do, I actually built a replica of Rock Tickle bike from my podium in Ontario and it's actually sitting in my room. The hardest part about being a factory race mechanic is there's a lot of travel, there's a lot of time away from home, but for me it's all worth it. I'm just grateful I get to do what I love. The best part about my job is I get to travel and I get to build one of the best looking bikes in the world.